Welcome to the weekly astrology and spirituality show with Elisa and I, Patrick Arundel. This is going to be a short and snappier edition because we are set to move this week. Yes, last week on Thursday, we finally got the confirmation that contracts were exchanged. So we're off this midweek to our new home by the coast and we'll share some exciting footage uh, from our new destination on next week's show. But on this week's show, we're not going to do a winner of the birthday prize draw. Please don't worry if you've entered your name. We're going to do two winners for next week's show. So for week commencing the 28th of June, if your birthday is from there and into early July, please write in to go into that prize draw. So we'll do two winners on the next show. We're keeping this one a bit more to the point because we got a lot to do. So the wonderful news in terms of the Hermetic Wheel is we're now in the Two of Cups territory. Yeah, so we'll pop that wheel on the screen so we can see that we have moved on from those swords that we had over the past few weeks. Stealing number seven, yeah, worrisome then, number nine. And then nightmarish number 10, so we're out <laughs> of it now. Yay, celebration. Oh, God for that, let's raise a glass <laughs> yeah. or two. Or two. So the Two of Cups is a fantastic card. It is a card of unions. It's a card of true love. It's a card of deep commitment. Um, so generally this is, you know, meaning a, a relationship, a romantic relationship, but it can be anything to do with business relationships or really close friendships. So it's a really uh, lovely card of commitment. And we do have a little bit of, of a, a love, don't we, for this card um, in particular. Yeah, because you kept doing tarot readings or your mum did them for you before we met. And this card kept coming out for you, didn't it? Along with the Ten of Cups. Yes. And was it... The King of Wands or the King of Swords? The King of, of Swords it was. So right, okay. I knew that there was going to be a, uh, a new man in my life. She kept saying, <laughs> it's going to be someone older, love. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, I don't know who this could be. And then obviously we met him and we've shared that story before. But I think from that, the Two of Cups has always been a card that's made me think of our relationship. And so one year when we went on holiday to Port Maddock in Wales, um, I crept out in the morning <laughs> and went and got a Two of Cups tattoo. Um, and when I came back, you didn't know where I'd gone. No, <laughs> nothing's changed. She's completely free to come and go as she wants. <laughs> there are manacles and chains elsewhere, but they're for other purposes. Oh, I've let that slip. Um, so, so, so then... We went back to Port Maddock a year later and I had my first ever tattoo at the age of about 60 whatever it was, 600 whatever I am. <laughs> and uh, so now we You're both branded. Have, so I'm branded, there's mine. Now yours is makes a lot more sense because it's the right way up. Mine, Whereas yours looks like a brassier. Mine does look like a brassier. But <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's ours. So we have got matching tattoos after you said that you would never have a tattoo. No, never, never. Very traditional sort of person. So a little bit on the conservative side with dress and that type of stuff. So yes. yeah, I became a wild. <laughs> wild biker boy. Wild biker boy. <laughs> So um yeah, so that that's the story behind the two of cups and I really think that this week that's a brilliant card for us all to have. And of course in terms of the astrology it is the summer solstice. So the week begins at 3:32 a.m. universal central time based on Greenwich. Uh, in the sun moves into the sign of cancer and we have the second quadrant of the year so uh, the western tropical astrology uh, zodiac is based on the seasons so this is the second season and it begins with the cardinal or action orientated cancer which is all about home family emotion security whether it be physical or emotional and of course it's rather remarkable that we will be moving just as the sun makes its passage into this sign. Also in Draconic Astrology, which is if you like uh, Deep Soul Astrology, both Elisa and I have the Moon conjunct in the sign of Cancer. Now I am going to be doing a special on Draconic Astrology as soon as I can muster the time, uh, so look out for that in the next few weeks. But essentially 
this is where we move the north node to nought degrees Aries, so the vernal point. Now some people do have their north node on that point. Jesus Christ was one of those people. Uh, and so someone like that often comes into this world without the sort of past life issues to work through that some of the rest of us do have. But in that wonderful draconic chart, we both have the moon in uh, Cancer, and that's where the sun's moving to. And my midpoint in my draconic chart between my moon and the sun is at naught degrees in Cancer. So the summer solstice is a very notable time for me each year, I feel. And it's the beginning of a new journey for us, and we're going to move by the sea. So we're right by the sea. So obviously the symbol of Cancer is the crab. So we're really excited about all these changes. So please bear with us that we're not uh, able to share such a long show this week. Now also Mercury on Tuesday ends its retrograde, but it doesn't come out of shadow until the 26th, I think, maybe the 28th. But just be aware that some things can unravel successfully on Tuesday. It is late on Tuesday that it ends. So probably on Wednesday, we're going to start to see things speeding up. And then by the end of the week, that clarity will become more clear. But we have to acknowledge that Jupiter has gone into retrograde at the end of last week. So some things will slow down. And I think longer distance travel might be something that does get pushed that back a little bit. You know, I was very disturbed to read in uh, BBC News just before this that 500,000 people have died in Brazil now of COVID. And this is because we had a president there who right from the outset described COVID as just a little flu and therefore was very dismissive of it. We had the same in the UK, the same at the start of the pandemic in India and America. And those are the countries who have encountered the most deaths much of this was avoidable. So unfortunately, with Jupiter going backwards, I do think we could see greater regulation of movement. I don't think it's going to be severe, as severe as before, but there could be a bit of a pushback in that area. Also, all through this week, Venus is in an opposition with Pluto, which can see something offered, but there may be a catch, so watch out for that. So on Thursday, we have a full moon in Capricorn. So it's all about balancing the homey, uh, feeling side of life, which is Cancer, against the more material side of life, which is Capricorn. But it does forge a great link with Jupiter. On Friday, Neptune begins its retrograde, which goes on till the end of November. So a more spiritual uh, development is possible with the help of that. And as we come to the end of this week, the glorious Venus moves into Leo, where she can really strut her stuff and show off. She's joining up with the glorious Mars already there. And the two are going to be side by side in Leo pretty well for the first three weeks of July. So that can be very, very good for mixing, mingling, socializing and romance, providing the COVID outbreak does continue to be pushed back. So we'll have to watch this space on that. Now, Elisa, what modality are you going for this week? Well, we're using the Rider weight cards. I'll be completely honest why I have packed every single other card deck away. So, um, but I do think that these are a beautiful card deck to, to work with. I think yeah. these were created in 1908. Okay, um, so, the year after I was born. Yes, so. <laughs> we creep nudge nudge. So let's give them a little shuffle and see what sort of spiritual message comes up for our week this week. Okay, fantastic. Whoa. We have the Knight of Wands galloping, galloping, galloping. <laughs> Doesn't this mean overseas travellers? Well? Yes, it can do. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. We are moving to a different country. Oh, this guy really, really makes me happy. Um, if it represents a person, it's usually someone who's quite fiery, who's an initiator, who really gets things going, can be a very good business person. I mean, their downside is they can't rush in before, you know, thinking things through too carefully. So they're not always the most mature person, but they're definitely a lot of fun. Um, if it doesn't represent a person, it's usually a situation where things are speeding 
up. Knights in tarot generally represent messages as well. Whoa. And the the one suit is about creativity, passion, lustiness. So we could get, you know, maybe a Whoa. flirty text this Whoa. week or um yay, maybe, yay, yay. <laughs> you know, something like that, some nice communication like that. So yeah, I think this is a really uh, great energy, along with that two of cups energy, a lot more uh, of an uplifting feel this week. I oh, fantastically. So well, also, um, we haven't had a chance to, I'm being um, completely sincere, we haven't had a chance to go through to see what words of the week that we might uh, use. Does one pop out of your mind? I think the word for the... The worth of the day jar has been packed away. Oh, no, there. no, no. Oh, you've got it here. Here's one I prepared. Right. Here's one I prepared. <laughs> oh, this you could have been on Blue Peter. I could have. Right, so we have some words in here. Okay. So you can do the looky dip. What? Whoa. Two for one. Right. Justice! Justice! So, wow, that's a powerful word, isn't it? Go on, Blimey. Man. So, what do you think, mate? So, well, justice in terms of, a, I, I feel in terms of a spiritual way of being is, is almost like karmic, not necessarily karma going around, because I know it doesn't always work like that for us, but I feel like there's going to be some kind of loose end tied up this week with this card coming up, it may, uh, with this word coming up. It makes me feel like something that's coming to completion justice right. Right, okay. because say for example um someone is hurt in some way um and then there's a court process and the person responsible may be you know sent to, to prison to 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 pay for for what has happened well they might not get as long um a, a sentence as maybe the family would have liked but that doesn't necessarily mean that justice hasn't been served because justice is where there is a concert, uh, you know, a, a consequence for, for an action, in my view. Right, okay. Justice for me, what would justice mean for me at the moment? Well, this is a little bit personal. It would feel so wonderful just to be by the sea. And um, yeah, because that's something I've wanted to do for all my life really is to live by the sea and so. you've worked so hard to to get um to to that point where you, you can do that so yeah that would be yeah i mean we justice. we don't do this work for the money there isn't a lot of money in astrology to be honest you know even very very successful published authors in astrology you know it's you do it because you love it and um, obviously the commercial landscape has changed hugely with digitization and astrologers don't generally get the kind of recognition or, or rewards that they might deserve in relation to other journalists because obviously content has to be produced 365 days of the year but by the end of the day it's done isn't it it has to be re rewritten again and i don't think there is a tremendous amount of respect for that within media generally and so you know this isn't a lifestyle that you're in for the loot but yes, after working very, very hard for 25, 26 years on this business, it will be marvellous to finally get to the sea. Yeah. Oh. Especially with thee. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I'm a poet and you didn't know it. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> so thank you so much for, for what, bearing with bearing us. Bearing with the crazy, our the crazy Aquarian today. <laughs> our excitable nature today. Um, but we're so excited to take you along the journey with us and maybe next week we could do a video in our new garden if it's not raining or on the beach or on the beach yeah and please send in more keywords please send in your birthday details thank you for all your lovely comments thank you patrons for your lovely generosity and all your personal comments which we really appreciate if you want your free daily horoscope to your device each day please see the link below and sign up now but from the a team soon to be the each team <laughs> it's goodbye from him and it's goodbye from her goodbye, goodbye.